you can talk about to what Neuralink is. So what exactly is it? Well, for version one of the device, it would be it, it basically it implanted in your skull. So, but it would be flush with your skull. So you basically uh, take out a chunk of skull, replace, put the Neuralink device in there. You you put the the electrode, you'd insert the electrode threads very carefully into the, the brain, and then you stitch it up, and um, and you wouldn't even know that somebody has it. Um, and then it, it can interface basically anywhere, in, any, anywhere in your brain. Um, so it could be something that uh, you know helps cure, say, eyesight, like give you returns your eyesight, even if you've like lost your optic nerve type of thing. Uh, could, really? Could, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hearing, obviously, um, I mean, pretty much anything. It, it could, in principle fix almost anything that is wrong with the brain. Imagine a world where you could control things with your thoughts. What would it be like? Pretty amazing, right? Well, as with the evolution of science and technology, things like that are becoming possible. And this recent technology definitely serves that purpose. We're talking about Elon Musk's Neuralink technology, which has plans to change the world. So what is this technology all about? How does it work? And how does it have the potential to completely change the patterns of the world we're living in right now? Will it be something beneficial for us humans? We have got all of that covered for you in this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first things first, what exactly is Neuralink? Neuralink, a company founded by Elon Musk, is a neurotechnology startup that is developing an implanted brain-computer interface capable of translating thought into action. The private firm, which was founded in 2016, promises that its neural implant will allow persons with paraplegia to regain movement and restore vision to those born blind. Musk stated when the firm was founded in 2016 that he wanted to assist humans to compete in a world where artificial intelligence had overtaken them to give us more bandwidth. However, with this latest release, the researchers have shifted their focus to assisting patients suffering from brain-related diseases. The implant is known as the Link. This coin-sized brain chip is surgically implanted beneath the skull, where it collects input from neural threads that branch out into different areas of a subject's brain that regulate motor functions. Each wire has 1,024 electrodes, which are sensors capable of detecting and generating electrical currents, and are so fine and flexible that they can't be inserted by the human hand, according to the Neuralink website. That is why Neuralink has developed a neurosurgical robot that is totally automated. The company is also working on an app that would allow a person to handle a keyboard and mouse with their mind alone. In addition to that, Neuralink is focusing on novel materials for the implant, such as flexible and biocompatible electrodes, as well as new ways to interact with the brain, such as optogenics, which utilizes light to control the activity of neurons. However, in this blog post, we will concentrate mostly on the Link device. How does Neuralink technology work? The Link, Neuralink's brain machine interface device, records the electrical activity of neurons via microscopic electrodes implanted in the brain. This data is then transferred to a computer for analysis, where it is used to control external devices like a robotic arm or a computer cursor. The electrodes are a flexible, biocompatible polymer that can detect electrical impulses produced by neurons as they communicate with one another, also known as spikes or action potentials. The chip analyzes the electrode impulses and wirelessly transmit them to a small computer worn behind the ear, which connects to the internet and other devices. For the chip to be implanted, Neuralink is developing a robotic surgical system that can accurately place the electrodes into the brain without causing damage, as well as a wireless communication system that can transmit data from the electrodes to the computer without requiring a physical connection. The robotic surgical technology is intended to precisely implant the electrodes into the brain while causing no harm. It employs a 24 micron needle to sew the wires from the Neuralink chip into the brain, which is a less invasive procedure than standard brain surgery. A crucial feature of the technology is the wireless communication system, which allows data to be sent from the electrodes to the computer without the need for a physical connection. The necessity for a connected link between the brain and the computer is eliminated, making the technology more practical and user-friendly. However, Neuralink has not yet provided specifics on the sort of Bluetooth technology employed in the chip. Post-surgery care and recovery. 
Patients are usually able to leave the hospital the same day their operation is completed. It's crucial to remember, however, that recuperation times can vary depending on the individual. Some individuals may have slight discomfort or headaches in the days following surgery, while others may have no discomfort at all. Patients are encouraged to rest for a few days after surgery and to avoid any vigorous activity that could potentially damage the implant. Patients are gradually able to resume normal activities such as exercise and other physical activity. The device is meant to blend in with the skull and is nearly imperceptible to the human eye. As a result, patients can go about their regular lives without anyone knowing they have an implant. What are the potential applications of Neuralink technology? The Link device from Neuralink is primarily utilized for medicinal and therapeutic purposes. While the technology is still under development and has not yet been tested on humans, Neuralink has been performing animal testing, notably on monkeys, to demonstrate the capabilities and safety of their device. Monkeys were programmed to accomplish tasks, such as reaching for and gripping objects using the chip to control a robotic arm, restoring motor function for those with paralysis. The chip was even utilized to translate brain activity into speech in monkeys, which serves as a first step towards assisting individuals with speech difficulties with communication. Some other applications of this technology are as follows. Visual prosthesis. According to one of Neuralink's engineers in the Visual Neuroscience Group, this technology has the potential to deliver a visual prosthesis for those who have retinal injury or blindness due to eye injury. The goal is to insert a camera directly into the visual cortex and trigger a massive array of thousands, if not tens of thousands, of electrodes to replicate a visual image. Perhaps in the future, the same technology can be employed to create some type of heads-up display. Elon Musk responded by saying that we could truly delegate monitoring. The globe may be seen in numerous wavelengths, such as ultraviolet, infrared and radar. To have superhuman eyesight, all one has to do is name their frequency and dynamically modify the sensor. Treating Neurological Disorders The treatment of neurological illnesses is the immediate use of Neuralink technology. The technology has the potential to enable people with diseases like Parkinson's or paralysis to communicate and engage with their surroundings. Enhancing Human Cognitive Abilities Another possible application for Neuralink is to improve human cognitive capacities. Individuals' memory, learning, and problem-solving abilities could be improved by connecting the human brain to a computer. Solve mental illness. The device has the capacity to expand to other channels and locations. As it progresses, the likelihood of resolving difficulties related to anxiety, fear, and sadness increases. One of the team members wishes to be free of fear so that she can enjoy rock climbing. Musk, on the other hand, instantly remarked that some fear would still be helpful. All of the above futuristic sounding applications appear to be fairly ambitious. We can, however, never bet against Elon Musk. When someone asked if a Tesla could be summoned via Neuralink, he gave a thumbs up. So there appears to be no upper limit to what this coin-shaped implant is capable of. AI Symbiosis Musk cautioned everyone that it will be critical to figure out how we cohabit with advanced artificial intelligence AI, and achieve some of AI symbiosis, where an AI extension of oneself is like a tertiary layer above the limbic system and cortex. Having that symbiotic relationship can help to create a world in the future that is controlled by the united will of the people of the planet. According to Musk, achieving a good AI symbiosis will be critical from an existential threat standpoint, and this may be the most crucial outcome of Neuralink. Where does this technology stand in the future? The future of Neuralink technology lies in human-machine collaboration. The technology has the potential to allow humans to collaborate with intelligent machines, resulting in a symbiotic and efficient partnership. However, the technology used by Neuralink is still in development, and human trials have not yet commenced, though the company has received FDA approval for human trials. Before proceeding with clinical trials, however, it is critical to assess the potential dangers and advantages, as with any new technology. Before humans use technology, it is so important to ensure that it is safe and effective. Furthermore, the ethical implications of the technology must be considered, such as ensuring informed consent and respecting the rights of study participants. 
even if the technology is authorized by the FDA, it will still need to go through additional testing before it is widely distributed. Final thoughts. To summarize, Neuralink's The Link device is a cutting-edge brain-machine interface technology that has the potential to transform the area of neural prosthetics by allowing people with paralysis to regain independence and improve their quality of life. While the technology is still in development and human trials have not yet commenced, it has the potential to be used in medical and therapeutic applications in the future. Before proceeding with human trials, it is critical to assess the ethical issues and assure safety. The future holds great promise for this technology and its potential impact on the lives of persons suffering from neurological illnesses. But let us know what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.